we've got to look at this bit, not that bit. Okay, you've got to, you've got to do it enthusiastically, supposedly, when you're doing it right on there. Oh yeah! We are the Nomadic Crowbot. And we want to invite you along as we head off-grid and start living our non-conventional life. The whole entire process from start to finish of this crazy little journey. Where are we starting, Bex? We should talk about... Narrow boat! Narrow boat! Got to be a narrow boat, innit? <laughs> boop, boop. Maybe you should explain the plan story. Or I? All right, we are... Oh, for sake, Bex. even in... What? <laughs> <laughs> So, we're going to pull together our money. One million dollars! 30,000 pounds. <laughs> Go on. And buy ourselves a houseboat. <laughs> Smells like I used to live on a boat. Okay, she wants to get that in there. So, so many people, obviously everyone pretty much, gets a mortgage and spends their life sort of paying this sort of thing off. And we just want to take a bit more of a sort of freer route. You can work for yourself, you can start your own businesses. I think something that's come up in our conversations a lot is the desire to have to put lifestyle first almost so obviously working to earn our way and to pay our dues and everything but not being living a life where you just live to work we want to flip that on its head and sort of get a better balance so we're going to be looking for creative ways to make money whilst we're on the move Hopefully we're going to be sharing with you some pub gigs, some arts and crafts, and who knows, some exotic jams from berries foraged off. The real place. berries, Bex. Like real, real bells. Real berries. Wow, Bex Absolutely. loves jam. We love jam. It should cost around about £7,000 for us to do this in a year. But we are literally novices at this thing, aren't we? We don't... Well, Bex has lived on one, but we... Got a small amount of experience. I've been on one for about an hour, I think. I meant to look at as many of these crafts as possible because I keep seeing one and I say to people, oh, that looks awesome, I want to buy that one. It's in our price range, we can do it. How did you find it when you were living on it? Did you like it living on I loved living on a boat, yeah. Did you? It is, you just have this sort of sense of freedom, but it's also a really grounding experience because when you're freezing cold and you have to get outside to get some coal or start the jenny up or something like that it's Jesus. yeah you learn a lot along the way mm. and yeah we don't proclaim to be anywhere near expert level at this stage we're going into it completely blind, blind <laughs> trying to hobbling and blind because we both got bad legs <laughs> hit the bell button if that you little get bell thing whatever that is is it here you look, put a little thing up or something in it? Somewhere around here. So we are basically your guinea pigs if you want to sell up all your for absolutely everything and come along on this journey and sell your soul to the devil that is the canal. Peace out. <laughs>